observation. Notice that the symbol sin A is used as an abbreviation for the sign of the angle A. Sin A is not the product of sin and A. Sin, when is separated from A has no meaning. In the same way, cos A is not the product of cos and A. Similar interpretations follow for other trigonometric ratios also. Let's know some facts about sin, cos and tan. Facts about sin, cos, tan. The first use of the idea of sign, in the way we use it today, was in the work, Aryabhati Yam, by Aryabhata, in AD 500. Sign came from the word sinus which means, curve. So the word sinus, also used as sign, it became common in mathematical texts throughout Europe. An English professor of astronomy Edmund Gunter, 1581 to 1626, first used the abbreviated notation sign. The origin of the terms cosine and tangent was much later. The cosine function arose from the need to compute the sine of the complementary angle. Aryabhata called it Katijaya, the name cosinus originated with Edmund Gunter. In 1674, the English mathematician Sir John S. Moore first used the abbreviated notation cos. Now let us study more about trigonometric ratios. Tips to remember all the basic trigonometric ratios. Tip 1. Here is a slogan by which you can remember easily all the six trigonometric ratios without actually by hearting them. In the following slogan, take the initial letters to represent the sides of the right triangle. The slogan is Old Harry and his old aunt. Here, O represents the opposite side. H represents hypotenuse. A represents the adjacent side. In the slogan given, take the first two pair of words to remember sine, the next two pair of words to remember cosine, and the last two pair of words to remember tangent. Wondering, how to do? Let's now see how to remember and recall. The pair of words, that you can observe from the slogan are, Old, Harry, and, is, Old, Aunt, so we can say that old by Harry equals opposite side by hypotenuse, which is equal to sine. And by this equals adjacent side by hypotenuse, which is equal to cos. Old by aunt equals opposite side by adjacent side, which is equal to tan. Remember that the cosecant, secant and cotangent are reciprocals of sine, cosine and tangent respectively. Let us now see the second tip. To remember the trigonometric ratios. Tip 2. Here is a slogan, by which you can remember easily, all the six trigonometric ratios without actually by hearting them. In the slogan given, take the first word to remember sine, the second word to remember cosine and the last word to remember tangent. The slogan is, Saw, Cat, Tour. Here, O represents the opposite side. H represents hypotenuse, A represents the adjacent side. Wondering what is, saw, cat, tour. Let's now see how to remember and recall. Here saw stands for sinus, opposite side by hypotenuse. Ca stands for causes, adjacent side by hypotenuse. Tour stands for tennis, opposite side by adjacent side. That is, saw is equal to, opposite side by hypotenuse. K is equal to, adjacent side by hypotenuse. Toa is equal to, opposite side by adjacent side. Remember that the cosecant, secant, and cotangent are reciprocals of sine, cosine and tangent respectively. Now that you are able to identify and recall the six trigonometric ratios, let us move further, by considering a right triangle ABC. Now, take a point P on the hypotenuse AC, and a point Q, on AC extended. Then, draw PM perpendicular to AB, and QN perpendicular to AB extended. How will the trigonometric ratios of angle A, in triangle PAM, vary from those of angle A, in triangle CAB, or from those of angle A in triangle QAN? To reply this, you first observe these triangles. Is triangle PAM similar to triangle CAB? Recall AA criteria of triangles which states that 
If in two triangles, corresponding angles are equal, then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio, or proportion. Using the criterion, we notice that the triangles PAM and CAB are similar. Therefore, by the property of similar triangles, the corresponding sides of the triangles are proportional. So we have AM by AB equals AP by AC equals MP by BC. On rearranging the terms we get MP by AP equals BC by AC equals sine A. Since sine A equals opposite side to angle A by hypotenuse, which is equal to BC by AC. Similarly, we get AM by AP equals AB by AC equals cos A. Since cos A equals adjacent side to angle A by hypotenuse, which is equal to AB by AC. MP by AM equals BC by AB equals tan A. Since tan A equals opposite side to angle A by adjacent side to angle A, which is